Welcome back to my channel again and you know we just came back from the mountains you know from Hopok Mountain so we're very tired and I think we deserve to pamper ourselves yes. with a spa <laughs> and good thing that our accommodation down here stuck in the mountains in Bistricha is ha having a spa <laughs> so we can enjoy like ourselves for ourselves like for an hour an hour is it buddy yeah for an hour yeah which is Costing let's say eight or nine pounds, nine euros yeah, each. So imagine for like an hour and you can have all this by yourself. Wow, look. Ding. All right, so let's get going and we're gonna enjoy and hope you're gonna join us here on our <laughs> spa time. Yeah, so this one is what? Yeah, but I don't know if I will see because I just woke up five minutes ago. <laughs> and this is what? The jacuzzi? So Introduce us to, to yeah, what's so inside this room. I will probably stay just here because I'm still a little bit sleepy. Okay, so what's this? This is the jacuzzi. Yes. Tour us around. Okay, go, go, okay, go. Let's, no, first, first we have to take a shower. Yeah, so not yet. Don't take shower now. <laughs> no, I will not. Yeah, okay, that's okay, shower. And this is? So can now. you open it? Like, for them to check what's inside? Okay. Wow! Yeah, so. Alright, then yeah. next. Then you can go to Jacuzzi, what I said before. Yeah, and then. And then the wow! And I don't know what it is here. This, I think, is uh, another oh, sauna. Uh, uh, another in, sauna in, in, room. In, in, in person. Yeah? But I don't know what, what is it? I'm not expert yeah. in this. But wow! So. Uh, let's let's do it. <laughs> oh, guys, Honza has already gone to the shower in there, and I'm going for my shower first. So first thing, you what you have to do do a shower before you jump into the jacuzzi, or probably go for a swim in the pool. And you can also use the sauna for as long as you like for the next an hour or so. So <sighs> I'm so excited. <laughs> How was <is> it? <laughs> So it's my time to go for a shower. No, I'm just done with my shower. It's probably one of the most difficult vlog I've made because you know it's wet. I'm afraid with my camera, but yeah, look at all the oh my god. How was it? How was the water? Warm? Is it warm? Are you wow. the machine? Huh? You try it first you must put the machine and then. I might probably try first the jacuzzi and then I'll go there. What? A bluer? Like a bluer? I will try to reach the floor. The? The floor. Near to the floor and then comes to it. Awesome. And in the chair. We don't have any sea, any ocean, and every time it's not on the train. No, but our marriage is very different. That's what I told you. It's it's the vlog here. They're very, they're saying good stuff. So guys, we actually enjoyed the first few minutes here. So we were on the boat, and we're actually like enjoying our time here. Really nice. After you know, climbing in the mountains for. Um, Many hours. Like let's say we were there for like what would be maybe four hours of climbing the mountain, and then afterwards we went back for accommodation. Just I think like a few kilometers from the mountain, and then a good thing that there's a spa here in the accommodation, and we um, we enjoyed our time this time in the spa, and we only paid only like nine euros for this. You know, no, oh, so, yeah. nine euros. No, ah, it's included like. 
without breakfast for tomorrow. Five euro, imagine five euro for all of this. Oh my god. I've had the best time of my life. Here. We're gonna do um, a QA round, like a question and answer vlog. Well, because given the fact that you're um, you're a Czech uh, you're a Czech national, yes. what what is one of one what probably you have to choose one, what is one of the best things that you are proud of being a Czech? I mean, if you have to choose one, there will be a lot of things that make you proud to become Czech. I mean, but what is like I'm one proud thing that makes Czech because Czechs are the best people in the world? So, but <laughs> best people in the world. It's, it's common. Everybody knows that. <laughs> okay, so I know. But what what makes what makes Czech Republic a very special place to discover? I mean, for those who don't know Czech Republic, Czech Republic is uh, located in the central in the central part of Europe, and it's more. It's Bordered between like Slovakia, Slovak Republic, Austria, and what's other country? Uh, Germany. Germany and Poland. So it's stuck in this um, country. It's one of the landlocked uh, countries here in Central Europe. And what what is it for Czech Republic that you have to like, recommend? If it's like my first, I have no idea what. How would you introduce Czech Republic to someone who has no idea whatsoever about Czech Republic? Except Prague, okay, so don't, don't. Oh, I don't want to choose Prague. Yeah, not Prague, but I mean. I think drinking with Czech people. Yeah, because Czech Republic, for your information, Czech Republic is one of the um, largest consumers of alcohol in the world. Czech yeah? Not like come to Prague, just. That yeah, yeah. must drink with Czech people. Or you must be with uh, Czech national yeah, for you to have a better. But I think it's everywhere in the world. If you, if you want to enjoy the country, you need to spend some time with, with the local people. Because they will show you the best of, of what the country offers. Do you think that Czech Republic and Slovakia are underrated countries? They are not uh, underrated countries. They say this way. Do you think but they are or they're overrated now? I don't know because I think many people also go to Czech Republic, but especially to Prague, which is even local. So yeah, but do you, but do you, but I I would say that Prague is not underrated now. It's overrated because a lot of tourists know know of Czech Republic associated with Prague. So everyone knew about Czech Republic because of Prague, but they haven't known that Czech Republic offers a if lot you, more. You know, than a real Czech Republic, you you need to go to Moravia. Moravia, because, South Moravia. Because Czech Republic is separated to Czechy, Morava and Slesko. Mm -hmm. And Morava, I think it's the best. It's maybe because I was born there. But uh, I don't know. I think people in Morava, like especially in my region, you want to speak right. Uh, it's a, like wine region in my country, and uh, people there. Uh, Do you think they will enjoy South yeah, Moravia like they the are, first time? They are like two people. They are so famous. Yeah, because a lot of people would say that Prague is like wow, castle and yeah, all so this. Like every city or country can offer something, you know. But if you want to enjoy like wine, good people. Just having to be beautiful women, we need to go to Morava. <laughs> really? Yeah. Actually, this um, countries for me, I would consider they're one of the underrated countries. I know that everyone, most of the uh, tourists would consider Prague as an overrated um, city. But there's more to Czech Republic than Prague, I'd say. I mean, um, up, when you go away from Prague, there will be a lot of places you will see that's really beautiful and outstanding. There's some natural beauty, history, as well as like structures as well that can also like parallel with the grandiosity of Prague. And also like Slovakia. Slovakia, I think, is much more underrated than Czech Republic because Slovakia, everyone knew only about Bratislava and not everyone would probably dare to like go to the countryside in, in um, Slovak Republic, but the best Places to go in Czech Republic is actually in the mountains because Slovakia offers the best hiking trails that you could ever um, try. There's High Tatras, there's um, the Low Tatras mountain ranges, national parks. It's just like everywhere and full of castles. So if you've got like the time, you have to like visit these countries. And because it's not like really known to a lot of tourists, it's actually um, a country that you can like explore where everything is like well preserved. So you have 
like the feel of what it feels like in these countries because they are um, underrated. So, and you know, underrated countries are offered the one one of the best um, best experiences that you could ever have. Apart from like probably when you go to like France, and, like, Germany, today, it's way too different. Today I'm like some ambassador for. <laughs> <laughs> so we're done with the pool and we're gonna go now to the jacuzzi and we just got like left 30 minutes now to enjoy the place well, yeah go ahead how was the water buddy warm yeah We are enjoying our time here in the jacuzzi. Um, this time we're gonna ask Onza. You know, this will be like about the story how we become like from being like strangers to good friends and now we're like real life brothers. And we've been friends, we've been like connected since 2015. I think six years. Almost six years now. So um, how we managed to do it. He's, he's from Europe, I'm from Asia. We grew up from a different environment, but we managed to make um, a, a wonderful story of, of, of being um, real life brothers. And um, it's actually not because of me, but it's actually because of him. Uh, yeah? It's because of. Uh, because of. Culture. Yeah? Is that, that's what it all started. That's where it all started yeah. with the culture thing. 2015, yeah? Can you tell them like a brief story about how you started off as good friends when you went to like London? I know you went to London 2015. I went to London to work for a summer. Yes. But I was originally wanting to go to Brighton. And for two days I wanted to stay uh, in London. And uh, from my experience I tried to use couch surfing again because I want to know new people. And have an experience in London with Walker. So I sent a request and I sent it to Kenneth. And that's how we met. Actually, we started off being good friends, you know. I hosted him. I have no idea where he lived. He actually lived in a city called Brno. I have no idea where Brno is in the map. And, you know, that actually is the very reason why I got so curious did about you, hosting him. Did you know where is the Czech Republic? I know where it's Czech Republic, but, but I only know about Prague. But I don't know where Brno is. I don't know which part of Czech Republic is this. I have no idea how how what Czech Republic it looks like. I haven't been there since, but and you know that actually strikes um, curiosity out of out of me. And then that's the very reason why I hosted him. And I've never realized that after that experience, we will share so many things, and I'll be connected to a lot of people through him because. Uh, like after a year, I went to his country, and then I was able to like meet most of his friends. One of his friends is Patrick, with my girlfriend, now fiance L. So we went there the following year, and we stayed on his place in his house. It's like his, this is the time that he hosted us. You know, it's like a, a, a return of favor. And then I met Vashek, his best friend, and then through Vashek, I was able to like meet a lot of his good friends, whom. Honza doesn't know before, but now he knew already because of what For example, Martin. Yeah. My man. Yeah, from Bolivia. Yeah. Yeah. From Bolivia. So we've got like, a good friend when we went to South America. His name's like Martin. He's from Bolivia, but he studied in, uh, he studied in uh, Belgium together with Vashek. Vashek introduced me. Uh, Erasmus introduced me to him. I hosted him in London, and then when we went to South America together with Honza, we met Martin there. And when I went to Poland, I also met one of Vasek's friends. He's who used to be a classmate of his in Erasmus with Dominic. And also when we went to Slovakia through Vasek, I was able to like meet Pratishek, who Honza was able also to like meet. And then the rest was history. There's like a lot of connections because of this friendship. And, and yeah. And then, and also yeah the thing is after we yeah and after we we actually traveled to South America we also went before to the Philippines so I brought him to the Philippines he was able to like meet my family meet my good friends able to experience Philippine culture and to be honest I can't like imagine how things have, have trans 
transpired for the both of us, you know. I mean, able, able to experience to be food <laughs> in the Philippines. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, in saying all of this, the the lesson probably that I, I I learned, you know, from the experience that I had is don't be afraid to talk to strangers because you don't know these people will be probably your lifetime friends, you know. They can be like friends for keeps or or you know much more so your family in the long run so that's what i all actually like um, learned from the experience when i arrived in london that i have to like open my life to a lot of people and i'm very thankful that you know i was able to like found a good uh, found a brother with honda that is like totally unexpected because we were just strangers before and who would have thought that we will be like like joining for a lot of travels from like South America to Europe to Asia, going to the Philippines. And every year we always like see each other as much as we can to like celebrate everything that we've had in the last five years. And you know what? Celebrating small small milestones, you know, small things are bigger milestones. So me I'm really really thankful. So I don't know what's your take on this. Yeah, I I'm really glad that What was the biggest lesson that you've learned? What what made you, what was your realization? Uh, I'm so glad that Couchsurfing can connect to so many people. And I now I do promotion for Couchsurfing <laughs> before I did Portuguese <laughs> Republic now. And yeah, it's nice to have the friends around the world and it's always better to come somewhere and know that you meet someone there who who already knows you and it, I think for me what I've said many times before it's not about the place but about the people and, and if you have a chance to go to some uh, beautiful place with, uh, which is uh, the, uh, the, uh, the country where your friends are born it's the best option for to travel. Yeah. I totally agree guys, so I think our screen is getting smoky already. So we're gonna cut our conversations here. Hopefully you gained something from our experience and we're gonna still enjoy a few minutes here before we before this dream will gonna end. And we thank you so much for joining us on our short wellness experience here in Slovakia and I, we made this adventure fun and exciting. It can be your adventures and anything else yes, before you yes, uh, Huh? It can be your adventures uh, as well. Uh, <laughs> as well. As well. Yes. Thank you so much, guys. Yeah. Bye. <laughs>